Hi guys, it's Rosa here. I hope you're all having a really lovely day. I'm here today to share with you some of my things that I've been making recently. Um, I'm very excited for spring. Looking outside, it is horrible right now. It's just chucking it down with rain, which I guess is a very spring thing to happen. Rain is normal in the springtime, but I'm just very excited because tomorrow we're going on a holiday and we're going to be going to San Francisco for 10 days. And I'm, yeah, I'm just so excited. So I've been making lots of things which are not really appropriate for rain. It's probably gonna rain a few days when we're there, but mostly it will be nicer than it is here. So that's my main thing I've been focusing on. So I've got four things to share with you today that I've made recently. I'm trying to do some stash busting. Some, most of these are fabrics which I showed you in my last video. So yeah, let's get started. Should we start with what I'm wearing? Um, I love this dress and I love this fabric. This fabric is a vintage fabric. It was given to me by lovely Harriet from Hobbling Handmade. So thank you very much, Harriet. Uh, we did a little bit of a fabric swap when we met up at the um, Knitting and Stitching show a couple of months, probably about a month ago now. It was a while ago. It was back in March. Um, although March wasn't that long ago, but it was I think the beginning of March, so about a month. Um, and this dress kind of makes me feel like I'm in the film Made in Dagenham. I don't know if you've seen that film. It's a great film if you've not seen it. It's all about the machinists. There's lots of women who sew. They worked at the Ford car fab factory uh, back in the, uh, the mid 1960s, I think it's set. I think it's 65 or 64. Um, and yeah, their job is to sew all of the seat covers for the Ford cars and they are not paid as much as the men and they go on strike. It's all very exciting. And anyway, this dress, <laughs> to cut a long story short, makes me feel like I'm in that film, which I love wear feeling like I'm wearing a costume because I'm a big fan of film and costumes and yeah a bit, particularly vintage styles and this is a vintage fabric so I thought it deserved a very vintage style little dress so this is a pattern hack I used a new look sewing pattern um I don't remember the number so I'll insert a picture here or here um so you can see and it's a pattern I've had in my stash for years it's actually one of the first patterns I felt really confident sewing um I hacked it quite a lot though as you can probably tell I hacked it to have this pointed collar which was really easy because it's actually got a curved collar. So the collar should go like that. I just extended both those lines to make it straight. I made this little zip pull at the top, which I love. I bought the zip from John Lewis because I wanted one with silver teeth on a white background. And I ordered this little ring on eBay and I'll leave a link again to that down below if you want to buy a little uh, <laughs> a little ring to put onto your zips. They're really easy. You just like open them up and you can clip them onto any zip, which is kind of cool. Um, I made it with short sleeves, as you can see, and I also, to make the zip insertion super easy, so I didn't have to do a placket, I just cut the whole thing with an empire line all the way around. Um, I only had, I think, just over a metre of fabric, so there wasn't a lot, so I wanted to do something that would, yeah, just look great in a small amount, and I think a shift dress is perfect, and yeah, I feel very cute. I, when I first finished it, I'll show you how... Uh, my knees are pink because I've been kneeling on them, so sorry. But um, when I first finished it, it was like super A-line, like out here. And I just looked like I was in like a children's cartoon. So yeah, I just narrowed the, <laughs> narrowed the A-line bit a little bit. It's still A-line and it's still cute in 60s, but now it's just a bit less like a costume because that was my main concern. So there you go, you can see whoop, the whole dress. Um, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with that. I think it's really cute and it's made out of a fabric which doesn't really wrinkle. It's a poly cotton, so yeah, that's gonna be just excellent for our holiday because it means I can pack it and not worry about how it's gonna look when I get it out at the other end. Probably look pretty much the same. So that's my first make. I am going to get my next one on, so see you in a second. Okay, so this is my next make, and it kind of makes me feel like I should be in a jungle somewhere. <laughs> it's a little bit like I'm in like a film in the 60s, you know, pretending to be in a jungle, because I actually don't think people would really wear this in a jungle, but that's kind of how it feels. So this is my named clothing dress. Um, I will insert a picture of the pattern envelope here uh, with the name, because the name is just literally flown out of my brain, so I'm sorry about that, but I'll put a picture here so you can see. Um, I am super chuffed with how this has turned out. This is made out of yellow linen, uh, which is from the Gold Hawk Road, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, it's a really nice color, actually. If I come a bit closer, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. This this dress is like a coat dress, and I mean, I wouldn't wear it as a coat, but the reason I'd call it that is because it has some really interesting coat-like details. So 
for example it's got this really nice wide belt with the little belt uh, fastener here which I love it's got epaulettes on the shoulders which I think are just so cool and chic I love an epaulette and it's also got like extremely large buttons for a dress um, which I think yeah looks really cool and just makes it look quite edgy and quite unusual I don't know what you think if you, if you, you might not agree you might think it's weird but um I think yeah the big buttons just look kind of cool on a dress like this it makes it a little bit different it's also got pa uh, pockets with flaps which is really fun I'm not overly into pockets and then most people who sew seem to just be absolutely so into pockets and I, I can definitely see it from like a, pa a practical standpoint but actually I find that they distort the shape of a dress quite often but these ones don't because they're patch pockets they're really big and roomy I did some nice double top stitching around them and it's got this cute little flap I just think it's kind of it works well as part of the whole look that's my thing I think I only like pockets if they're like designed like as part of it not like just coincidentally there I quite like them because yeah just because I'm really fussy about, <laughs> about them changing the shape of things that's just me and being being a fuss pot but um this is how the dress has turned out I am over the moon with it I think it'd be really nice for these kind of in-between weathers when it's not boiling hot it definitely won't be for a long time but also it's not snowing anymore so you want to wear something a little bit more springy so I think it's a cool dress and from the back it looks like this it's quite plain at the back actually but you can still see your epaulettes um, it's cinched in with the belt. You can wear it without the belt too, which looks quite cool. I did put the belt loops on the side. I think the great thing with the named patterns is they just have so many interesting design details. Like they're definitely like a fashion-led uh, sewing pattern brand. And yeah, they're just really cool. I just, oh, my hair's gone funny. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think they're just really cool. Um, I'm a very big fan of the named clothing patterns and they've got a book coming out soon. I think they said it was next year. So yeah, saw that on Instagram and was like, oh my goodness, super excited for that to happen. Um, the only alteration I made to this dress is I shortened it because I didn't have enough fabric. I only had two meters of fabric, um, but actually I'm kind of glad I did make it a little bit shorter because I think if I'd have made it full length, it would have kind of drowned me. So now it just hits kind of just below the knee, just on the knee, which I think is a nice length for a dress to be. So yeah, overall, I absolutely love this one. It's nowhere near as um, complicated as you might think. I wouldn't say this is a beginner pattern, but definitely like if you're a more sort of adventurous beginner, this could be something you'd like to try because it's really all just straight stitching. Like there's nothing on it, which is overly complicated. Um, even the collars, you know, it's let, it's not got a collar stand. It's just inserted flat. So yeah, with a little facing inside. So yeah, I really love it. I kind of like it with the button undone at the top, but of course, you know, you make it you know, wherever you like. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited to wear this one. Hopefully take my little basket bag with me if I can fit it in my luggage. Yeah, <laughs> I think the little basket bag would look quite cute with this and maybe some trainers or some sandals, something like that. So that's my, uh, oh, which number is that? My second make, and I'm gonna go put on my third. Okay guys, we're on to my third out of four makes, and it's a slow Sunday pattern. This is my first slow Sunday pattern I've ever used. I have to say I am absolutely loving how it's turned out. And it's a really simple pattern. It comes together really nicely, and the diagrams, as you can see, are absolutely excellent. Like They're really, really thorough. And there's been a couple of bits which I just Googled on my Google Translate and that was fine. I mean, if you're more of a beginner, then perhaps you might want to um, maybe not do this for your first dress because, you know, you might want the instructions to be in English. So maybe go, of course, for a tilling the buttons, absolutely perfect for your first dresses. But I think this is definitely a, a pattern that's appropriate for beginners. The only bit that um, was a little bit of not, not confusing, but something new for me that I learned was how to insert these really cute little pockets. Um, so it's got, yeah, these little pockets in here, like little kangaroo pockets, I don't know. I feel like they're, kind of, I don't think they're actually called that, but they kind of, I thought that would be a good name for them. So it's got these little pockets in here, and it's really interesting the way that they're inserted into this seam. So it's got a uh, horizontal seam running all the way through the front, not on the back. Um, and it's got also a really nice centre seam, which is top stitched down here. Just, yeah, some really nice details. I used um, stretch denim for this dress, which I got from Higgs and Higgs, like, years ago <laughs> not years probably a good while ago probably at least a year 18 months ago and yeah it had been just sitting around in my stash and I decided to make it into this little dress because I didn't have enough of that denim to make my lander pants but we'll get onto those next uh, so I thought this would be the perfect pattern it's really nice to test out a pattern that you've not used before on a fabric that's just in your stash and actually I think it's gonna look super cute on my holiday with like little white trainers 
um, you know, and a little stripy top underneath like this. This is my Tilly and the Buttons Agnes tee, which I had to have the slash neck. I've got a video tutorial if you would like to do the same. Um, but yeah, it's got that really cool V neck detail. It's got that at the back as well. And then the sides are super open. So I could imagine my mum looking really cute in this as well. It's very much her style. <laughs> so maybe I'll have to make her one. My only complaint uh, with this pattern is it came out super short. I'm quite short. I'm only five, four and a half, but look, it's so short. I mean, I have to be really careful if I were bending. Um, maybe it's not that short for other people, but for me, this is actually quite short. So yeah, to make it long enough, I just used bias binding for my hem, which is a cute, uh, yeah, a good little trick uh, if you ever are making a skirt or you know maybe a dress and you're like, oh my god, this has come out way shorter than I wanted to. Um, and yeah, just I just sew it onto the right side and flip it under. This is also half lined, um, which is how it's all finished at the top here. So I just used a little cotton lawn for that because I thought if I used denim on the inside as well, it would have just been like super chunky up here and maybe not quite so flattering. So yeah, I decided to do that. But yeah, that is my little Tilia pinafore dress. I hope you like it. Um, it's nice to try out a new pattern company and yeah, I'm really, really pleased. Lovely packaging too, nice and shiny, shiny and bright. So I'm gonna put on my last make now, which is my lander pants and I'm so excited to show you them. So I'm gonna go get changed. Okay guys, we're on to my last make. I gave up on the bun because this hair band just isn't good enough um, to support all this hair. So I sent her a ponytail. Um, I'm growing my hair for the wedding, if you're wondering why it's so long. Just because I don't really know what I wanna do with it. And I kind of figure that the more you have, the more options you can have because you can always cut it off. Um, so anyway, these are my lander pants, -da! and I'm really pleased with them. I went for the cropped version and yeah, I'm loving this pattern. I'm definitely joining the lander pants party and doing my lander pants dance because yeah, I just think they're absolutely great. They're super flattering. I was really panicking about this make before I made it because it took me ages to actually just get get going with it and just do it because I was so worried about the sizing. The sizing chart is very unusual. There's much smaller gaps between the sizes. I think I had a size two on my waist and like a size eight on my hips, that's American, um, or something like that. It was like four sizes which expand and I was like, that's just crazy. I mean, my waist is definitely smaller than my hips, but not that much smaller usually. Usually I just get away with a size 10 and kind of just tweak it at the waist a bit, you know. Um, but yeah, it was a very big difference. So. It took me a while to pluck up the courage and actually have a go, but I'm so pleased that I did. I cut the straight size six, uh, and the adjustments which I made was I made the darts at the back bigger, um, which would just, yeah, cinch it in towards the waist because of course the hips were fine. Uh, the waist needed bringing in, so I did that, and then I shortened the waistband just a little bit, so the waistband's more of like the, the size four, but then it was still really gaping here at the back, so I, at the risk of putting my butt in the camera, there we go, so I decided to do three triangular, not triangular, sorry, diamond shaped darts on the inside, so this will open on the inside of the waistband, so I did one above each of the darts and one in the center back, and it's made it sit really nice and flat, um, next, it was a bit of a bodge job, like it wasn't ideal. <laughs> it definitely wasn't how you're supposed to do it. So next time I'm gonna be cutting a curved waistband because I think that will just, yeah, make them fit so much better. The fabric which I used is very wrinkly, so I'm not overly pleased with it, but actually it's a really nice weight for trousers. It's really firm, it's just wrinkly, and I've ironed them and it just, it just makes no difference. So that's a shame. I went for the cropped version, da -da! The length was fine, a little bit long. I just did a really wide hem because I'm, quite short but I think they're super flattering I don't know about you but yeah they're a really nice shape they make your waist look small they kind of slim your hips a little bit and then they're nice and yeah nice and flared very 70s very cool um, and they've got little pockets on the bum which are quite nice you can put your hands in them and it's got these little angled pockets at the front as well and the fabric is John Lewis it's their stretch they call it stretch cotton twill yeah, I wouldn't recommend it if I'm honest because of the wrinkle factor and like just wrinkles that just will not come out. But I'm not gonna let it put me off these trousers because I love them. I think they're gonna be perfect for wandering around San Francisco, having a nice time with my boyfriend. So yeah, I'm very pleased with them. The one thing I did, my one stress making these, they were really quick and easy make actually. They weren't as hard as I was expecting at all. The button fly was super easy. The bit that stressed me out was putting the buttons in. So I bought some expensive prim buttons thinking, oh well I better you know get nice buttons because it's trousers, don't want them to like pop off. Oh my God, all of them snapped. I was <laughs> hammering them in and they just snapped. I was so upset and it really stressed me out. And then like the ones that did go in and didn't snap, 
they I, were like wobbly, they weren't in properly, and I was like, they're gonna like pop off while I'm walking around, which would just be the, mo the most embarrassing thing to have like one of these buttons missing. So I just put my regular, I mean, just cheap, not cheap, cheap, but you know, my regular hammer on buttons, and they're fine. So I will not be buying the brand <laughs> expensive buttons again. Maybe I inserted them wrong. That's what I'm telling myself that I'm sure they are really good. I just made a complete mess of it probably and didn't do it right. But anyway, that was my only stressful part of this make. Um, so anyway guys, those are the things I've been making. I really hope that you like them. Please let me know down below anything that you, I just have to do in San Francisco if you live there or if you've been there. Um, I'm always on the hunt for vintage fabrics if you know anywhere really good for that. Um, yeah, and just generally having a nice time being a tourist and seeing nice stuff and eating nice food. That's kind of what we like to do. So that's everything for today. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.